Ade, what do we have here? Here we have Pathway, and Pathway is a tool for log newbies. So it will, it will allow the novice log to act as an experience set one uh, in few hours, let's say, two or three, using the tool. Hey, so this is like the matrix when they upload how to fly a helicopter into Neo's head in about five minutes. You, you're doing the same? Uh, you found a way to do this in, in real life? A bit, yes. This is what we aim to. Uh, so we want to reduce the gap between novice lock and experienced one. And we, on, we want to empower them to take decision. Yeah? To, in fact, when we are intervening in the field as logistician, we want to create the best environment of care for the patient mm. and, uh, and make services that are fully operational. And so um, we have been working with experience at lock to, to raise up what are the main indicators that allows uh, the, the logistician to take decision that goes to qualitative solution. Okay, so it's teaching the log by asking the right questions and guiding them through a certain pathway, as you describe, and that way then they come to some solutions quicker. And so instead of having to call headquarters every time they want to make a decision, they can learn by themselves by going through the pathways. Is that the idea? This is the idea, yes. So, uh, in fact, they will first, uh, using the tool, they will first collect the parameter of their project. The parameter of the project are 17. Mm -hmm. They are medical, contextual, and internal political MSF. So, meaning that we want to, to say to the log that he is working in an ecosystem, and he can work in urban setting, he can work in rural setting, he can work in camp as well, he can do a vaccination campaign, he can do an hospital, and so he has to take into consideration where he is and what he has to do and understand well the medical activities he has to undertake. Okay, that's clear. Uh, also, other consideration in the in the log uh, response are climate. Mm -hmm. Is it raining? Is it sunny? What's the diurnal rage? This kind of stuff. Exactly. Yep. What is uh, the rural, uh, the, the the cultural ways of uh, uh, of working? Of working. Uh, what is the security? What is the access? Okay. So, so having we push them to ask themselves the right question. Uh, and we are not giving the answer, uh, meaning that it's not a guideline where you can read yes. everything about your project and people are saying to you, pay attention to that, pay attention to that. No, we want by themselves that they find the right questions and the answers as well. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So having collected the parameters, they link the parameters? They link parameters and they relate to technical families because but it's, uh, it's logistic. Yeah. Huh? So, uh, we have to. Uh, it's, uh, it's about construction. It's about Watson. It's about. It's about uh, energy. It's about telecom. Yes. So we link also to technique because we are working on how on how to do the thing and make that happen. Okay. And, and so then these these technicians and these tacticians. Um, what's a technician and what's a tactician? Ah, <laughs> a technician. So it's the. This is the lock community. Uh, a technician is somebody that is focused on one technical family. Yeah? Like, energy like energy or transport. Yes. A tactician is the one who is working on tactic. So it's a transversal. Uh, it's no, it's as, enfin, technic, technician are vertical and uh, tactician are working transversal so like, across technique. If we look like and football teams, a, a technician could be the goalkeeper or the defense or the striker, and the tactician is the manager who describes the tactics to win a exactly. football game. So it will, uh, this is him that will, uh, and this is what the pathway allow, is to have a framework for intervention. Okay, that's clear. And then having set a clear objective after you've done all of this, then we start... Yes, so there they have to communicate a lot together because when the, the objective is, is clear, uh, they will communicate together and the technician will make sure that uh, the, what we are doing is according to the standard, yes? And as well, he will look for problem and be solution driven. A technician is somebody that gives solution, yeah? Okay. And together, they will develop a flexible plan. So we want them to be agile. So we want them to look for change, because in MSF, our environment is changing, is evolving all the time. So we want them to be, to be yes, to look for change. And uh, this is, I love your slogan here, pathways. Don't stick to the plan, stick to the reality. Yes. That's what you try and teach. 
Yes, and this is the last part of the pathway where we want them to, to take agile uh, decision, agile approach. So we ask them to develop multiple paths. Yes. Um, okay, Dr. Bog, does this get you excited as a medic or are you just going to... So I'm, I mean, uh, this sounds great. I guess I'm struggling to understand what does this mean for me as a doctor or maybe it doesn't, but if I was your, your medco or your, your um, medical team leader in the field, what does this mean for me? It means that uh, you have a luck that tomorrow is able to, um, to better understand the context where he's working, uh, better take uh, all, uh, all medical requirements into consideration, integrate it in the solution he's proposing, and uh, measuring together with the medco, with the field code, the impact, the real impact on the beneficiaries. Fantastic. We can close headquarters and we can just launch logisticians into the field. And this is a goal, in fact, huh? because it's uh, this project. <laughs> ah, yes. Yeah, because this project really wants to empower uh, novice log. And because of the volume of our operation is, is increasing, and we want step by step that what we know as experience log goes to the field. Yes. Brilliant. Look forward to your retirement and all our retirement soon. Thank you very much, Eddie.